Hi everyone, I'm Alan Zucconi, a lecturer in artificial intelligence and science communicator. What you're about to watch is a 360 video about one of the most extraordinary discoveries of this past century in astronomy, exoplanets. Right now, you're watching the night sky as you would appear in London. With the naked eye, we can only see about 5,000 stars, although our galaxy alone, the Milky Way, counts between 2 to 400 billions of them. It is believed that most stars have planets orbiting around them, pretty much like Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, all orbit our Sun. When a planet is orbiting a star other than our Sun, astronomers call it an exoplanet. Since 1988, we have discovered over 4,000 of them, orbiting more than 3,000 stars. However, given their enormous distance from us, to this date, we still do not know how any of them really looks like. In this video, you will see them colored based on their effective temperature, which is a good indicator of their potential habitability. As we speak, all the stars that are known to host an exoplanet are appearing around us, in the order of discovery. They are just a tiny fraction of the total number of exoplanets in the Milky Way, which are in the order of hundreds of billions even according to some conservative estimates. You might have noticed that the exoplanets that have been discovered are now uniformly distributed over the night sky. Right now, there is a small patch in the sky that, alone, contains almost half of the exoplanets discovered so far. Such a massive endeavor was made possible thanks to the Kepler Space Telescope, which has continuously served at the very spot from 2009 to 2013. Before retiring in 2018, the Kepler Space Telescope has also observed a few other patches in the sky, discovering almost 300 new exoplanets. The first definite confirmation of the existence of exoplanets arrived in 1992 with the discovery of not one, but two of them, Poltergeist and Phobeton both orbiting a pulsar called B1257-12. In 1994, a third planet was discovered, Draugr. Up to this date, it is listed as the least massive exoplanet that has ever been discovered. The NASA Exoplanet Exploration Program labeled Draugr, Poltergeist and Phobeta as zombie worlds, as they orbit what is left of a star that died long ago in a supernova explosion. And now, they are consumed by the radiation emitted by the pulsar that was left behind. Not much is known about the size or composition of these exoplanets, but they are expected to be somewhere in between Earth and Neptune. Most of the exoplanets discovered actually fall into this category, ranging from super-Earth to mini-Neptunes. Earlier this year, Michael Mayer and Didier Quellots were awarded Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of 51 Pegasi b, the first exoplanet which was confirmed to orbit a star similar to our Sun. Its mass is close to Jupiter, but, unlike Jupiter, which rests at minus 145 degrees Celsius, temperatures on 51 Pegasi b are over a thousand degrees Celsius. Exoplanets like these are so common that they even have their own name, hot Jupiters. The closest exoplanet to us is Proxima Centauri b, which is only 4.25 light years away. A year on Proxima Centauri b only lasts 11 days, and its size is comparable to our planet. But do not get too excited. Proxima Centauri b receives 2,000 times more solar wind pressure than Earth does. If these exoplanets ever had an atmosphere, it was likely stripped away by the solar wind, in a process not dissimilar to what Mars went through around 4.2 billion years ago. Most of the exoplanets discovered so far are unbelievably hot. This is because exoplanets that orbit close to their stars are easier to detect. Despite that, a few exoplanets lie in a so-called habitable zone, neither too close nor too far from their star, potentially allowing for water to be present in its liquid form on the surfaces. 
The Earth Similarity Index is a somewhat arbitrary measure of how similar an exoplanet is compared to Earth. While it bears no quantitative meaning for habitability, it can be helpful to understand how hospitable an exoplanet could be. As a reference, Earth has a similarity index score of 100%, Mars 73%, and Venus, one of the most inhospitable places in the inner solar system, an abysmal 44%. The Planetary Habitability Laboratory of the University of Puerto Rico counts 55 potential habitable exoplanets, with scores ranging approximately from 58 to 93%. One of the most promising exoplanetary systems in that regard is TRAPPIST-1. At just 39 light-years away, the star TRAPPIST-1 hosts seven terrestrial exoplanets, three of which, E, F and G, lie within its habitable zone. TRAPPIST-1d has an Earth Similarity Index score of 89%. It might have up to about 250 times more water than all of Earth's oceans. TRAPPIST-1e is also likely to be an ocean world. TRAPPIST-1 is an ultra-cool red dwarf star, compared to our Sun, which will turn into a red giant in the next 5 billion years. TRAPPIST-1 is expected to live up to 4 or even 5 trillion years. This will likely make it one of the least remaining stars in the universe. At the moment of the recording, the most Earth-like exoplanets discovered so far is Tea Garden B, with an Earth Similarity Index score of 93%. Temperatures on Tea Garden B are likely to be around 28 degrees Celsius, and, providing retained its atmosphere, it could feature oceans of liquid water on its surface. These were just a few of the many thousands of exoplanets that have been discovered. Thanks to the joint effort of many astronomers, engineers and data scientists all around the world, more and more have been discovered every year. In 2021, NASA, with a joint effort of the European and Canadian space agencies, will launch the James Webb Space Telescope. Planned as a successor of the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST will be able to observe deep into the atmosphere of thousands of exoplanets, trying to unlock the secrets and perhaps detect the very first signature of life on another planet. If you have enjoyed this video and want to learn more about space, exoplanets and artificial intelligence, please consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you.